Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh we are here with a assault on I'm gonna try to say the name. Aragaton Aragaton. This is I mispronounced it. It's okay. This is the second part in our Axis Siege of the World. Uh the Germans, Nazis, World War II Germans, whatever you want to call them. They're attacking this wonderful town, more of a city called Aragaton. The allies are all here, guns loaded, ready to do some damage against these German troops. Assaulting, I'm going to check the name, I'm going to check the name. Argentin, Argentin. It's called Argentin. Oh, it started. Uh oh. Uh, well, right off the bat, it's of course important. We said the. Do I have any Volkstrom? Volkstrom. We're gonna send the Volkstrom to the right side, and the Volk. Sorry, had some uh, mic difficulties there. I'm not sure if we're running. All right, so we're sending the Volksgrenader and the Sturm Strom Grenader uh, out. So the Volksstrom is going to the right. These boys going to the middle got absolutely obliterated, and we are getting... The allies are actually winning this fight, because I'm just not too good at this type of combat. I'm going to try to get these boys over here, so they can at least start their stuff. The uh, the Americans are definitely doing a lot better than this, uh, this time, which is... Uh, a slight problem for the Germans because the Volkstrom the Volkstrom can do much against the Americano rifles, you know? Well not more not Americans, the Allies. There's You've got the You've got the British, you've got the French, you've got the Americans. Because as you know the Americans joined the war earlier on. That's the cool thing about this reality is in this alternate universe. So cool. So we're gonna send another we're gonna send a Volks Grenader Storm Squad Strom Storm Squad. I had one of my friends help me with some of these pronunciations. I still feel like I'm saying Volks Grenader wrong. I believe it's Volks Gren Grenader. It's either or. It's one of the two. I have no clue. I can pronounce Volksstrom. We're sending another Volksstrom down the. Uh, another Volksstrom down the middle. Oh, the Volksstrom are actually taking this side. These troops. No one has made it to the actual thing yet. Oh, they got the STG-44 over here laying down heavy fire. Oh, wait. You guys probably can't really hear anything. I forgot I turned down the game volume a lot. I am so sorry, everyone. Uh, let me um turn this back up. There we go. That should be a lot better. I am actually really sorry about that, guys. I completely forgot about how I had to turn it down because I was playing with one of my friends and it was so loud. Let me, uh, check this out. Make sure this is running. All right. The only issue is the gunshots are a little bit louder than me. But that's all right. Anyways, these Germans are doing, they're causing, causing some problems. We're gonna send another Volkstrom. The Volkstrom to the left side. We've got so many dudes going towards the right side. I'm surprised we haven't. It's cause this one, uh, another, ah, PPSH. 
assault rifle. That would definitely cause some issues. Come on, Germans, take them down, take them down. Sorry about the child in the background. He might be a little loud. I, uh, I say sorry now about it. I tried to get them out of here during this, but I cannot. Another Strom Grenadier is going to go to the left side. And the Volkstrom are finally making... Oh, my guy just got popped. Well, I'm going to toss a grenade right there. That was a horrible... Oh, oh no, oh no. I have no idea why the grenade did that. There we go, that's a lot better. What I wanted to do is get that guy up here. Oh, it looks like we're losing the middle now. These allies are doing the opposite of what I wanted to happen. Oh, and another grenade wiped them out again. I don't know what's the what's going on here. I'm just gonna grenade him again. These guys up here looks like we've I don't know it looks like the uh, the Germans might actually lose this battle which is not what they wanted but hey one small defeats all right you lose a city you gain a country happens to the best of us Though defeat does seem highly probable here with how this is currently going. We're going to send out those Volksgrenade down the middle. Once we take the middle, I feel like taking the outside should be a little bit better. But overall, the Germans are being obliterated. And there's not much cover here either, so it's just full on. full on war. No middle ground. And there it goes in. Not dead, but oh nope, he's dead now. Oh wow. They've got rocket launchers or something, but whatever whatever it is, it's causing problems. Uh can I send them around the side, hopefully. They're probably just gonna get lit up, aren't they? This might be a big defeat for the uh, for the Germans here. I don't, I don't. They can't really get a push. The Allies have really done some serious work. This defeat is undeniable at this point. I mean, there's not much they can do. They're outnumbered. They're taking heavy casualties. The MG40s are going down quickly. And fast, which is always a problem because these MG40s are like really a game player in to the Germans' victory here. But with how many of like how quickly they're all dying, it's it's definitely causing a couple problems. The one on the barrel is getting some shots off, but nothing too good. The one on the barrel is dead already. Another Volkstrom squad going in. A lot of rifles. Firing off. These boys are running up, risking it all. All getting absolutely sniped by ally forces. There's not much I can do here, guys. I mean... I guess we'll call in a platoon and hope for the best. I'm not... I'm not sure how good the platoon will do, but the numbers... For sure should help them out but as we can tell the numbers aren't really doing much for the Germans but we got an entire platoon here let's see how the platoon does see if they can get any ground pushing or if they're all just gonna get stopped here it looks like the platoon is getting 
No, stop. Not the outcome we wanted at all. Don't have enough to get any tanks or any of this. I mean, really, it's. We'll get up to this, this tank, I guess. I guess we're gonna get this tank and. Send her in, I guess. I mean, I don't know what else to do. Just send it in. The tank's gotta do something. Looks like the entire platoon's basically dead. Disappointing. And it looks like the allies have won this battle. I don't see much more I can do. There's not enough time to take over all these locations. So I mean, this was definitely a big bloodshed for the uh, the German forces. Definitely a unwanted bloodshed, but sadly a bloodshed nevertheless. And it does look like the Germans have lost Argentine. Soon. They're not gonna stop fighting though. They're gonna they're gonna keep going for it. But the uh, they have lost Argentine, Ar Argentum, Ar Argentine, Argentine. They lost. So that was a disappointing outcome. But it happens. So that's the end of uh, episode two, part two, assault number two of the entire world of the Axis. Stay tuned for uh, episode three. And let's hope that the Germans, well, I mean, we don't want to hope, but in the overall, we play as them, so we want to hope they can win the next battle, because their siege is not going to be achievable if they keep fighting like this. So, thanks for watching, and this is your boy Methodical, going dark.